Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name's um, Colin Darwin from uh, www.cgdarwin.com. Um, I'm a writer of horror, supernatural uh, thrillers, paranormal fiction. Feel free to hop, hop over to my site and grab a few books um, or subscribe. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create a landing page or a squeeze page uh, actually within Wix. So I'm going to be using my website actually as a, as a kind of a, an example of that. Um, so obviously the landing page is a sort of a gateway into your kind of sort of site or page uh, to which you wish to send uh, for me potential uh, readers so they can download a few books and obviously for me the purpose of that is uh, to uh, expand my mailing list. So you can see on the screen at the moment I have um, my page uh, which is my own Wix uh, Wix page here and obviously we, we're sort of in the editor at the moment so anybody who owns a Wix site will obviously be very familiar with this. Now the way to create a landing page a lot of people come up to this section here and add. I've had a few people who contact me and said they've gone into this section and they can't see how to add a page. You need to do it obviously from the top here from the pages menu. So the first thing you need to do is to create a page, add a page. So click on this then you'll click on add a page. Now I'm not going to do that here but as soon as you click on add a page you'll be able to name it okay so what i've done is i'll click on add a page you name it and i named it free for my purpose for my landing page now initially what will happen is that that um that page will show up here in the uh, in the menu in the menu headings in the menu titles it will show here so you need to do a few things so as soon as you created a new page and it will show obviously in the pages here you go into the settings okay so one of the things you need to do is click on here show now initially it will show so what you do you click on that and it will it will basically make it invisible on your site so it cannot be viewed in a traditional way from people visiting your site which is what you want so you click on show and you'll see up here you'll have a little eye with a line through it to show that it's not going to be visible on the heading menus of your site which is what you want what you need to do is go into permissions then and make sure that there's no restrictions okay then you need to click on layout and make sure that you've got no header and footer selected so what we have is a simple page now what i have here as soon as you obviously done that click on your your page what you'll then have is obviously your your page okay so this page at the moment if we go back to this page at the moment which is called free now if i go back to here and click on home You can see that that free that free page is not showing on here, which is what we want. We don't want it visible generally to people who are just visiting your website. We want it to be a landing page. So that landing page, obviously mine is free, will be your host name forward slash and then the page name. So for instance, for my books, it would be www.cgdown.com forward slash books. Okay, for my free page. Uh, it can be accessible directly by that URL, um, www.cgdowan.com forward slash free. So that's how you would gain access to that. And that's the link that you would be using to send that to other people to link directly to that page rather than navigating it, navigating to it, obviously, through, through, your, web, through your website. So once you've got that page, you obviously need to figure out what to put on it. Now, for me, for my page, what I'm doing is that I'm giving away two free stories uh, with a, a copy of my forthcoming audio book of what goes around. So you copy your images into place, copy your text into place. You can do that so obviously you can upload upload images. You can go to this section here, my uploads, upload images into that, whatever you want. Now what you need to do, what I need to do, is obviously the purpose of this would be to create a mailing list. So obviously what you need to do is put a subscription box in place so that users users sorry so that potential readers uh, and users of your website can obviously um, enter their email address and get delivered to them whatever it is you want to deliver to them in my case it'll be two free books so to get this in place to get the subscription box in place was well, to click on add we'll see this is in the editor here okay move to the contact section which it was already but move to the contact section okay move to uh, get subscribers and literally choose whatever um, subscription box you wish 
to use and drag and drop that over onto your page. You then then click on it and move to settings. And if you go into settings, you'll have the option of changing your wording. Um, yeah, changing your wording, um, changing what you wish to basically um, call your tabs and so forth and selecting a sort of thank you kind of sort of message as well. So obviously once you've saved that, you can then preview it and that will essentially be your landing page um, in place. So now if we open up another tab and we go to www.cgdowant.com obviously forward slash free, okay, and click on that, that should immediately then take me to my landing page. Now this here, this URL here will be the link that will use to send users, obviously send re potential readers to my landing page. So I keep saying users, I'm thinking of users of my website, potential readers, um, obviously to my to our landing page. Now when they're here, they then enter their, their email address. Now, as soon as they enter email address, you want to be able to send them what you promised them, which will be for me, a free copy of what goes around and a free copy of onto you. Now for that, you would need obviously automated emails. So if you go back to your your site, um, obviously, you know, this section here, before you get to the managed site, you will come across obviously this here. I'd say most Wix users should be familiar with, with these kind of options here. Now here you have automated emails. So what you need to do is to create an automated email, attach a document to it, which in my case would be obviously a free book to send to, send to uh, my potential readers. So you click on that and you click on create uh, automated email. Okay, now I've created a few here, but when you click on create an automated email, it will give you various options. Now, these are color coded. Okay, you have green for your um, people who contact you, uh, for your contacts, I'll actually send you an email through your websites. Uh, you have blue for new subscribers, and you have another color, I think, which is kind of like an amber color, which is for members to your site. So what you want to concentrate on are the blue emails. So when you create create automated emails, you'll be presented with something like this. Okay, and what you want to select is send the file to new subscribers. Okay, so you'll click that and then it'll give you a template and you can go into it and edit it in very much the same way as I'm here. So when you go into edit it, the first option that you'll be given is, okay, activate this email when. Okay, so how soon do you want to send out the email after somebody has essentially subscribed to your site? So you can select obviously immediately, 7 days, 14, 30, 60 days, or you can specify the number of days. We have this option here, send this automated email once per user. Now, if you're testing this for yourself, like you want to keep sending it to your own email address to test it, it's probably best to have this unclicked, okay? Um, so you can send multiple times to the, to a, the same user from your, uh, yeah, uh, I say user, so same user or potential reader. So click on next. Okay. And this is where you get to the actual, you can personalize the message itself. Okay. Hover over it, click on edit. Initially, this will just be one of Wix's own template. So then you can obviously edit this. Now, what you should be able to do is obviously click on that click on edit here, swap out the images, highlight this, click on edit here, swap out the text, and just generally work your way down. Again, what you'll have, you'll have a templated version here from Wix, their own image, but you'll just click on that, click on edit, and you can swap out, or literally just click on that box. It will take you to your upload sections, and obviously you can upload the image into your uploads into Wix, and then obviously download it and attach it here. Now, what we want to do is to be able to obviously attach a file to this. So if you move down to the lower section here, click to download, you can customize this button and call it what you want. Me, I'll click, I'll call it click to download. But when you go into that section, we'll give you the option to link to a document or link to a web address. Now, when you click link to a document, it will allow you to attach only one file. <coughs> now, initially, when we looked at my landing page, we had two stories, what goes around and onto you. So ideally what I wanted was to attach two files, but you can attach only a single file. But of course on my landing page, I'm promising two stories. So what you need to do is actually create two automated emails and attach one file to one automated email and another file to the second automated email. So what you do is you click link to download 
it will automatically take you to your uploads. You navigate to a file on your computer, upload it into Wix, and simply click apply and it will apply it as attach. So I've got an EBUP version. Now the reason I'm I'm stressing EBUP, okay, is that Wix does not support .mobi format. It does not support Kindle format. So if you are using this to give somebody a free book, for instance, be aware that you will not be able to uh, offer a .mobi format, which I think is a bit a bit off, to be honest. So once you've uploaded your your file. Click on done. Make sure you go through the whole thing and click on next. Okay, click on save. Okay. Then what you need to do is then create another automated email and do exactly the same thing. For instance, if on a single promotion you're giving away say two books, you would need to create two automated emails. If on a single landing page, a single promotion you're gave, say giving away three books, you would need to create three automated emails, one for each book, because you can attach only one file to a single email okay and that is the that is essentially what you do okay um, so when you go back to let's have a look here where are we when you go back to your page and you'll click on say okay you click on that what you do is that this here will be the link that you send out to other people then what they do is that they'll click on that link and it will immediately obviously take them to this page then you enter your email address, so Colin Nolan at gmail.com. Click to receive. Okay, thank you for choosing to download what goes around and onto you. Your free books should hit your inbox soon. Move over to my inbox. And you'll see that I have two emails there because you have both of them being sent out simultaneously. So here, Thank you for choosing what goes around and i have a second email choosing what goes around and onto you click here for download you attach a file so what it will then do you'll give the option of downloading the ebook version go and downloads and that is essentially it that is essentially how you create a landing page now i want to say that even though you can create a landing page using wix it works well for a single promotion. The thing is, even if you can create multiple landing pages and multiple emails, that automated email will be sent out to all subscribers. So if you're creating a one landing page, for instance, send out a free audio book, and you create another landing page, for instance, to be able to send out a free, say, audio book, that probably won't work. And the reason for that is that if you're using the same subscribe, you're using a subscriber box, <coughs> The automated emails, automated emails that are sent out would be sent out to all subscribers. So the emails will be sent out to those people who want only an ebook, but they will also be sent out to those people who want only an audio book. So it doesn't work out. So you can't really work it if you're having different promotions because it doesn't, you can't assign the email to a landing page. It's worked on the subscription box. And because you're using obviously a, a, a single subscription box, it will send out emails, the same email, to all your subscribers. So it works well on a single promotion, regardless of how many products you're offering on that promotion, but not multiple promotions when you simultaneously. So if you're doing just a single promotion, then yes, that's fine. Okay, now I would actually recommend, if you're really serious about building a mailing list, I would actually recommend using a mailing service such as Aweber or MailChimp or something like that. But for creating a, creating a single promotion on on the on a landing page with an automated emails such as this, then then it's fine. And that is essentially how you do it. If you have any questions, if I've missed anything and you want to know about and you have any questions, then obviously feel free to uh, contact me. Um, either leave a comment or either actually use my website www.cgdone.com. Use a contact box there, and well, contact me and I'll, I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.